Hi guys, that's me here and I'm back with the Tottenham Foot Manager series and as you can see oh, a bit of breath for some reason. Just ran up the stairs. Anyway, um, I'm back with the Tottenham Foot Manager series and as you can see we're playing Wigan at home in our final Premier League game of the season at home obviously. Which I just said, I don't know why I said it again. Anyway, it's, a, it's our strongest team that we have I think. Um, you could argue Ruiz ahead of Valencia. I'm really not sure which one's a stronger one, but I'd played Valencia because Wigan is his former team, so I thought it'd be nice for him to play his final game against them. Um, and then, yeah, so our starting lineup is Lloris, Walker, Hummel, Samba, Baines, Fellaini, Sandra, Valencia, Bale, Adabo, and Demba Bar. And I'll have to see start for Wigan with Stam, Caldwell, R Ramis, Ramis, sorry, Eckersley. McCarthy, uh, Watson, Jordi Gomez, Jones, Bosejour and DeSanto <coughs> who plays alone up front. Um, without further ado, let's get straight into it. We're on 91 points, 99 goals. I've, I want 100 goals at least. Um, Wigan can still go down today, but <coughs> only if Sunderland only if Sunderland win and also if Wigan lose. So uh, a win will keep Wigan up. Um, yeah, <coughs> only a win will keep Wigan up for sure. Um, but Sunderland, uh, who are they playing actually? I'm pretty sure we can see it on the preview, can't we? Match analysis. Sunderland are playing QPR at home. QPR are around 11th, so you'd expect QPR really to win that. Um, let's get this done. Team talk and. Where is it? Is it just player? Opposition, that's the one. Let's get um, him to do that. <laughs> Assistant just does everything for me. Anyway, let's continue on with the match and we can kick off. And after our um, season, a really, really good season, this is a bit of a dull way to end it, to be honest, at home to Wigan. It's not a hard game, it's not really anything special, but if we can win by three or four goals that would be a nice way to end it any more would just be really really good but yeah a clean sheet for me that's what I really want a clean sheet and a win um yeah anyway Samba Baines flicks it into Adebayor who tries to flick it on but Adebayor by the way has 40 goals this season so he's like a rat he's you know he, that's amazing you know 40 goals it is on all competitions that and that is a huge stroke of luck. In off Caldwell, I think. Yeah. Um, but no, Alabama 40 goals. That's amazing, you know. Um, that's almost what Ronaldo got in his amazing season. Um, just in off Caldwell there. Very unlucky for him. But yeah, Ronaldo's amazing season. I think it was 43 for him, was it? Well, at least in one season. I'm sure he's got more than that since then. Dunbar plays through Bale. What can he do? Tries to just play it across to Valencia, but Bosejour puts it out. Bale whips it in again. Again for a corner. And again, Bale will whip it in. Samba can't quite head it in this time. Bale, Dumabar at the back post. Not anything happening though. Walker plays it down to Valencia, and he tries to whip it in. But that's just not going in. So, um, unlucky there from us. For us, yeah, should I say. Blaney wins the header. Adebayor. He's offside anyway. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, this has not been the most amazing match so far. But, um, you know, compared to the rest of our season, I don't think I don't think there's any way that we're going to have a super exciting end to the season. Adebayor makes it 41 for the season. Um, there. Really nice goal with a little uh, through ball up to him. And he just takes it and then just knocks into the back of the post. Back of the post, back of the net. Um, into the corner with his left foot. He just stroked it in. Really, really nice finish. Demo bar. Baines whips it in. Adamel hits the crossbar. And it goes over. Unlucky again from us. Um, I wonder what the league table is like. Can we actually just get that up? Are we able to get the league table? It's not on the. 
the right one either. I don't know what it is. Um, is it down here somewhere? Here we go. So now we can just see. Um, it's nice to know how, what we're doing to Wigan. Nothing at the moment. Um, I'll pop that back up. I might keep that there actually. I can pop it back up whenever I want. Valencia, Albayor, Walker, Valencia whips it in again. Demba Bar, good save by Al Habsi. Um, he clutches it, and on we go. Half time. It looks like it's going to be two 0 We've got our two uh, hundredth goal of the season, which is the one we wanted. What's the record actually with Chelsea? I think it's like 106, is it? 109, 106, something like that. I, I'm, that's what I'm thinking off the top of my head. I can't remember exactly. I know they got the most ever goals, I think. Or was it points the most ever they got? I can't remember. Um, pretty sure it's the most ever points Tottenham have ever got. Um, we're going to have got a corner there. Probably the most ever goals they've got as well. Over 100. Wow. Okay. Let's do the team talk. Get him out there. Doing all that. Let's just have another check up on the league table. So Chelsea moved above Everton uh, while we're on the attack. And we're going to still staying up. I think. Sunderland are actually losing now, offside there from up in the actual game. Um, been a good performance today, 2-0, just couldn't really have asked for much more, to be honest. There's no nothing really to play for apart from that 100th goal and just the win really, which is bound to come anyway. Not a, not a hard match against Wigan. Um, so, yeah. Bale whips in, Hummels heads it just over the bar. Okay. I think I might make a couple of changes in a minute. In fact, I'm going to bring on Corker, who's just coming back now, and bring him on for Samba, because I do like to get Corker on the pitch and make him feel more part of the team. Um, because he's a big part of the squad. Hummels, Baines. Bale, oh nice play, Adebayor can he win that header, he does but it's well saved by Al Habsi, and on we go, this is going to be Dzeko's last match as well if he comes on, so I think I might bring him on um, in a bit, maybe just after this, De Santo, ok I'm going to bring on Dzeko now, I know we don't really need to but I'm going to anyway, and then... Bring on Sandra as well, and that'll do me for the for substitutes. That's all we've got. What's all we're allowed even? Jacko's out there, going to play his final match at Tottenham. Whether he will return in the future, we do not know. But um, for now, um, we're just going to give him his final match. Walker, hopefully, he can score on it. Valencia couldn't quite get there. It's gone out for the corner. Bale's going to whip this one in. Hummels, again just wide from Hummels. On we go. Corba, Watson, Jones, Walker's won the ball. Away Walker goes, what can he f do? He can find Bale. Bale only taking the touch, could have played maybe across Dzeko. Dzeko has five goals and seven league starts. Uh, he has never come on as a substitute in the league for us which is strange seeing as in real life he's that super sub isn't he but in the league he's never come on as a sub oh Denver Bar's picked up an injury well I'm not even that uh, doesn't matter but it's just unfortunate it doesn't really matter to the season um, I can't I can't really take him off Dzeko oh but it's been put in by Fellaini Dzeko just about couldn't get it in 3-0 though Absolutely fantastic for us. Bale whips it in. Dzeko just couldn't. And then there I thought he was going to do it. But it was blocked off the line by the defender whose diving header was. And Fellaini with... Well, he's never going to miss that, was he? He just smashed it in. Another goal for Fellaini. He's got quite a few this season for us. Um, oh, and Cork has made it four. 
just rubbing it in now. Corker, an absolute beast over the course of the season. 4 0, absolutely delighted with that. You know, just really nice ending to the season. Golabart. And there we go. Tottenham 4, Wigan 0. Uh, I've got a cheesy line planned in a minute. But as you can see, um, actually, we're going to take a look at the table uh, in more depth now. Just, yeah, we've got time. Whoa, what an end to a season for Fulham and Aston Villa. Fulham in particular, 6 5. I mean, none of the other matches were too great. There was a 5 0 win for Chelsea. Um, away at West Brom, which is pretty good, but 6-5, what a way to end the season. I think even Aston Villa fans <coughs> will be happy with the away trip there. They'll be, yeah, it'll be so good. Unstoppable force, don't know what that means. Is it the most clean sheets or um, over 100 goals or something, or <coughs> winning a certain amount of matches, but what an end to the season for Fulham and Aston Villa. Um... And for us as well, 4-0 victory. And it is Norwich, Sunderland and Southampton who go down, unfortunately. <coughs> I never like to see a team get relegated, but especially when it's a team like Norwich, that I really do like. Southampton and Sunderland, the teams I don't really like, so I'm quite happy they've gone down. Um, I don't really mind them. But they're just teams that I don't really like. But teams like Norwich, um, is, which is a team that I do quite like, um, it's, re it's really sad to see them go down. And that's very unfortunate. And then... Wrap it up. Um, just tell you all the show you all this. I'll go into more depth, but yeah, we got over 100 goals. Uh, goal difference of plus 62, 94 points. Only lost four games and drew for one 30 games. That is amazing. I cannot believe that. Um, but yeah, so we won the league. I just want to quickly go over these messages with you. Given 16 million, that's really cool. Hutton's got sacked. Not really a huge surprise. Demba, how long is he out for? Three weeks, not a big deal really for us. Um, I might actually attend this one. Yeah, um, that match wrapped up. I mean, season as a whole. This is my cheesy line. The perfect end to a perfect season. Um, yeah. Actually, or something. Doesn't look like that. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah. I thought, I'm just not gonna talk about that. I plan to toughen my stance. Yes. I'll just say that. Probably won't hear. No, I'm not gonna talk about it. You fucking twat. All oh, the English football of the year for me, it's it is Gareth Bale all the way through. I'm not just saying that because he's my player. If you look, uh, 16 goals, um, we'll actually go into it more in the next episode, which is where I'm going to just, I'm just going to finish everything basically, just show you all the stats from all the leagues and stuff, just go through everything and just, yeah, really do all that, but, um, so we've won the league, um, 4-0 against Wigan on the last day of the season, um, yeah, thank you for watching, please leave a like if you did enjoy the video, um, subscribe if you're new. I'm just, you know, I'm still in shock after the, about this season, you yeah. But that Wigan match, it was the perfect end to a perfect season. Thank you, and goodbye.